Hello, it's Davina from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. I recently saw a tutorial where the instructor was giving colour to some zebra, or a baby zebra in actual fact, and he was using Photoshop. Well, it's quite complicated in Photoshop, and as we're not teaching Photoshop, I thought I would see if I could find a way of doing the same thing in GIMP. And I think I found it, and I'd like to share that with you today. So what we're going to do is take a picture of uh, this Dalmatian called Fred, and we're going to give him a bit of a, a makeover uh, so that uh, we take some of the black spots and turn them red, some of the gr black spots and turn them green. But I suppose a more practical use for this technique is changing the colours of the eyes. Okay, how do we do this? Well, we will say goodbye to Fred, or the coloured Fred, and bring up black and white one. Now, first of all, I'm going to duplicate this layer because, well, if I make a mistake, I can scrap everything else and start again on this layer. And so it's uh, create a duplicate, you click on there, and there it is. What we're also going to do is give some colour, obviously. <laughs> As I said, I'm going to bring some colour. But what we're going to do is, instead of painting on top, we're going to bring it through. So first of all, we need to bring in a new layer. And I'm going to click down here. I'm going to fill it with transparency and click OK. You can go up to here and create new layer from there. There's usually more than one way, if not three, to do these techniques in GIMP. Okay, what colour shall we have? Well, we're going to have a red one. Um, and I've already got one here. But let's just show you how uh, it might have a bit of more orange. Let's have a more orangey one. So that's the current, that's the one I want. And I'm going to click OK. And making sure that a layer is highlighted, I'm going to fill it with orange by clicking on the paint or bucket fill tool. And just click on the screen. And there it is. And oh dear, we've covered poor old Fred completely. Not to worry. How do we bring him back? Well, we move this layer underneath and it, all it is is drag. Whew. He's all right. Not a spot in sight. Well, yes, there's black ones, but not an orange spot yet. What we're going to do is bring the colour through using a mask. And the reason we do that is because if we make a mistake, we can reverse the process. So what we're going to do is add a layer mask to the image here. And we go up to layer and down to mask and add a layer mask. And I want to add a white one. And we add on there. And what we're going to do is bring the colour through on we're using this layer mask. And so we need to go and get a paintbrush. Double click on there. And let's see, I'm going to have a small one. That's a bit, probably a bit too small. But anyway, so I'm going to colour that one in, but it's a little bit small. So I'm going to go up to 100% and move it over. If you want to zoom in even more, on a P PC it's Control plus or a Mac it's Shift and plus and that will bring it in. And if you want to zoom out, just press the minus key. So make sure the layer mask is highlighted because you're going to work on that. And just brush the colour over. What I like about it, and you'll be able to see, I'm just going over the spot a little bit, what happens is it retains all the texture and the shading, whereas if you paint it on top, it would just be a block of paint. Let's come out and see what that looks like. Okay, if you do make a mistake, 
what we do is reverse it. So click on here and we're going to paint white in. Reduce the brush size by the left hand bracket and then just paint around where you don't want. If you erased this particular image you wouldn't be able to bring this back so it is a very nice way of protecting your image but creating all sorts of interesting things. So we've got a, an orange spot there and I'm going to zoom out a bit. I'm going to give that one a green one and it's the same principle. You need a new layer and it's going to be a transparent one. OK, you bring it underneath and we'll choose a green colour. Let's have a, that's quite nice, grass green. OK. You need to fill it, so it's click on the paint box and then just click on the image. Ah, of course. What's happened is because we put a green image in, sorry, a green colour in above the orange, it's come through. So you can only do one colour at a time. So I'm going to undo that action, which is Control Z. And I'm going to remove that layer. And what I'm going to do is merge these two. So I'm going to click that eye off, go up to the layers and where it says merge down I'm going to click. So that layer now has got the colour in it. So we'll start again and create a green one. So it's the new layer. Okay, bring it underneath and paint pot and colour it. And there it is then. And as you, as you see, because that's merged with that one, it isn't affected. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a layer mask on here. So it's a layer mask and a layer. White again. Add. And now I'm going to take the pen tool and I'm going to make sure that's highlighted and I'm going to colour this in. It's a little bit small, so press the right hand bracket key to bring it up. And I'll do this quickly because you had the sort of the principle before. We need to merge those two to protect it. So it's layer, merge down. Okay, so that gives you an idea of bringing the colour in, but something a little bit more practical, I think, is the eyes. And it's exactly the same way. This time we'll have a new layer. Bring underneath and we're going to give you some nice blue eyes. There's a blue there. It might be a bit dark. Let's bring it down a bit. Yeah. Okay. Paint bucket and put the blue in. Go up to here and layer mask. Add a layer mask. White one again and add. Make sure the layer is highlighted. Take your brush and zoom in. And what I'm going to do is just this bit here. But I'm also going to reduce the opacity and you do that here and I'm going to put it down to around about 50%. So I'm just going to paint that in and as I say the with the opacity reduced I want to keep that highlight there you see and that's one. As I say with the, the opacity you're bringing the shading 
or leaving it there, should I say, because you're not covering it up. And let's go out. Mm. Yes, that's not bad because you've retained the highlights there. I think this is a, a, quite a good technique particularly for changing eyes, but, but anything. If you have a black and white photograph um, and you want to add some colour to it, this is the way to do it in GIMP. I hope you found it useful and if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, come over to our fan page or our website. The details are on the slide following this tutorial. Thanks very much for watching and hope to see you again. Bye-bye.